Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model in Autodesk Inventor sheet metal. In this we are going to use various sheet metal commands such as counter flange, sheet metal cut command, unfold command, extrude command, refold and corner round. So let's get started with today's tutorial. We will go to file, take a new take a part in sheet metal take the unit as millimeter ok now go to 2d sketch select the xy plane ok now we will go to circle command take the center point circle select the center point and make a circle of dia 80 <clears throat> ok now go to line command take the simple line select uh, bypass the line from center of the circle ok now you can see this is not constrained it's in moving state for this go to constrain go to coincident constraint select the line select the midpoint ok now it is fully constrained you can see here fully constrained now select the line once again right click ok right click and make it construction geometry ok we only need this upper portion of the circle so go to trim command and select the lower portion it will get trim and the upper portion will remain now exit command ok now take the line command once again select the send point and make a line over here ok exit command ok now go to dimension select this line give it a dimension of 15 mm similarly select this line and give the dimension as 15 mm ok <clears throat> now the sketch is made now go to finish sketch this is the final sketch it will not select this Go to counter flange, it will by default select the sketch you have made. Go to front plane. Okay. Now from here you can see the sheet is bending below the profile. If you want to change it towards upward, go to flip side, it will go it will go upward. If you want it in between from the line, you have to select both sides it will be at center of uh, the sheet will be uh, at equal distance from the center ok we need it upward and apply and ok change the view ok here we want to give the distance the distance of extrusion is 150 mm but we want it on, uh, from mid, uh, mid plane select the mid plane <coughs> and ok now if you uh, this counter flange is used for open sketches if as this is an open sketch don't use in close sketch it will not be used in close sketch the command will not get active now we have to make this we will first make the slot profile for this slot profile select this face right click create new sketch ok now go to rectangle and select the 
center point slot okay similarly here okay now we will give the dimensions go to dimension the center will be 15 mm and radius will be like this and radius will be 3 mm okay exit sketch now exit the command move this downwards this also downwards you can drag it by selecting the center point go to dimension select this the center of uh, we will get the dimension from this radius point select this and this the dimension 25 ok now you can see this is still not constrained <coughs> from sideward it will be 7.5 <coughs> now <coughs> sorry. from constraints go to equal command select this center point center line of the slot and this center line of the slot it will uh, the length of the slot will get equal similarly select this radius and this radius the slot is almost equal now it is equal in this and it is equal dimensionally so it's moving like we have to give the dimension from here that it should stop moving like this for that go to dimension select the dimension select this point this point and give the dimension 25 mm 25 mm ok now this is fully constrained as you can see here the slot is both the sides so make a line and make a line at the center ok now select this line right click and go to construction geometry always make a mirror image by the use of mirror command go to mirror command select this select this profile select the mirror line, mirror line will be the center line and apply done so this profile is made now we will simply take the cut command select all four profiles and ok this is cut <coughs> now we will make this whole profile for this we will first unfold this whole sheet now we will use the unfold command to unfold this go to unfold command it will ask you the stationary reference we need this as a stationary reference now it will ask you which bends you want to unfold so you can select bends one by one or add all bands click on this and ok all bands are being selected by default and sheet is unfold now go to this face right click take the new sketch ok <coughs> now go to circle command select the center point circle make a circle over here go to dimension command select this circle give the dimension of 5 mm ok from top 
give the dimension as 3.5 and from this end give it as 5m <coughs> ok now we have to make this pattern so there is no need of constructing circles again and again go to rectangular pattern <coughs> select this circle select direction 1 so direction 1 will be this from here the total count will be 16 <coughs> now there is no need of taking the pattern once again go to direction 2 this this pattern is from here and for this select this this wall will be copied over here in the form of pattern and now take the count of 20 and the center distance will be 7.5 now it's completely filled ok now you can see all over the pattern and ok this the complete pattern Take this and make it construction select this and make it deselect select this and make it construction inventory now go to 3D modeling go to extrude command select whole profile and this is now go to cut command and it will be through all and ok <coughs> through extrude it becomes quite easy now go to as the profile work is complete now go to unfold or oh sorry refold similarly go to stationary reference this and select all bends and ok it will refold it back so you can see from here and ok now the last work is giving the count, uh, corner rounds for corner rounds go to this corner round command select the radius as 6 it will ask you which corners you want to select so we will select this corner rotate it this corner again rotate this and this corner all four corners are being selected and ok you can change the look like this you can give any sort of color you want and apply so I hope you like the video and if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos